Hey everyone, I'm back with our next video. Um, today, what we're going to be talking about, something near and dear to my heart, is advice for coming out. Um, now, as we all know, this is something that's unique to everyone. It's a big deal um, in, in a transition. Um, and, you know, just in our livelihood. Um, so I've got a couple things that worked for me, just a couple things that I would tell everyone, just best practices. Um, first and foremost, obviously the most important thing is just be safe. Um, that is the primary reason why I didn't come out until I was, shoot, till about a month before my 29th birthday. Um, my family's very conservative, um, so it was one of those situations where I wanted to make sure when I came out that it's something that I could handle on my own. Um, I didn't want to worry about, you know, like, what if mom and dad kick me out of the house? What if I need to ask mom and dad for money? Like, are they just going to completely cut me off because of this? Um, luckily was not my experience, but I just kind of wanted to have that in my back pocket. Um, so when I came out, you know, I had a steady, good paying job. Um, I, um, had my own house, everything of that sort. So like I was well off, um, just as a person before, before I chose to come out, um, now, not saying, like, you have to have all that in line, but, like, if, let's just say, like, you're living at mom and dad's in this situation, um, have a backup plan. You know, like, do you have a friend that you could stay with? Do you have a family that's willing to take you in? Um, just because I've also been that person in my life who's had to sleep in their car and live in their car, and that's a really tough life. I don't <laughs> recommend that in any stretch of the imagination. Um... But the biggest thing is just be safe when you come out. Make sure that, you know, you have you have a plan. Um, another big thing along with that is be smart about who you come out to at the very beginning. Um, again, like I mentioned, I was nearly 29 years old when I came out. And when I came out, I came out to a group of friends at work. Um, who I knew were very liberal and very accepting and very open-minded about stuff like this, um, so that I knew I was, I had a support system. Essentially, that's what I was doing when I was coming out, was I was building a support system before I handled those who I didn't think would handle it as well. Um, just kind of gave me, you know, that peace of mind, um, ha gave me that, that, family type atmosphere um and that encouragement along the way which was extremely 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 handy because I mean this is a very emotional a very um taxing time mentally so having that support group in place paid dividends at least in my experience um on top of that, like I said, like the first couple people I came out to were friends at work. Make sure that you have a plan in place for um, for coming out at work, um, especially if, you know, you're an adult and like you need that money for your livelihood like I did. Um, so for me, I took time researching um, my company's HR policies around the LGBTQ community. And I knew that my company was a very, very accepting and was a very ally um, company uh, before I even before I even put all of this in motion. Um, and I found that just from like our HR resource page on our HR website and everything of that sort. Um, so the first thing I did personally was I just had a one-on-one -on -one meeting with my store manager. I work in a retail sales type environment. And I was like, hey, so like this is what's going on. Um, and I just need to know that you're on my team, that I have your support. 
And from there, like, her and I, honestly, like, we hugged it out. Like, it was, it was a very emotional <laughs> moment for me. Um, but she was awesome and was able to make it a very nice transition for me and go at my speed. And from there, we just, you know, we, her and I just two on one talked with all of my coworkers and we're like, hey, so this is happening. I don't know, you know, what this timeline looks like, but this is indeed happening. Um, and it just made the transition so much smoother knowing that I had the bosses on my side and on my team. Um, and just made that, you know, such a nice, easy transition for me personally. Um, and made it so that, you know, there was no issue at work because it was that one team, one dream mentality. Um, and from there, I mean, I transitioned from, you know, telling people to going full time, even though I was nowhere near passing at that time. And knowing that the company had my back, my coworkers had my back and just, you know, just worked very well for me. Um, another thing is be ready when you do come out, be ready to answer questions. Um, this is kind of big news for a lot of people. Um, so like I had a lot of questions. Um, what are your preferred pronouns? Um, what name should I call you? Have we picked out a name? Stuff like that. Um, down to more personal stuff. Um, you know, like, are you on hormones? Um, have you, are you planning on having the surgery? <laughs> Stuff like that. And for some of those answers, it's honestly, or for some of those questions, rather, it's honestly okay not to have an answer. I know I didn't have an answer for everything. Um, but just be ready for those questions, you know, be, be prepared for those questions and know that it's okay. Know that it's just general curiosity and it's okay to be like, yo, like, I honestly haven't even thought of that or yo, this is a little too personal for me. Um, but the biggest thing too is like, be ready for, um, to give like suggestions on what you need from your peers and your family, um, to support you. Um, you know, like we all know that, you know, the trans suicide rate is higher, um, when family, friends are not supportive. Um, so, I mean, just, just, don't be afraid to tell them as well what you need from them. Um, and then honestly, probably the last thing that I would say is just be aware that family, friends, um, other people are probably going to grieve the you that you were. And that's okay. My family, um, shoot, I've been out for about two and a half years. My family, my parents especially, are still grieving the son that's not there physically anymore. Um, mentally, emotionally, everything of that sort, I'm the same person that I was. Um, but just knowing that, you know, they have a daughter and not a son is a hard concept for them to grasp. But... You know, I talk to my family a couple times a week. I talk to my parents a couple times a week. And every time that we talk, you know, they tell me that they love me and they support me um, and everything of that sort. But just coming to terms with the fact that my former self has changed this much is still, you know, a tough concept for them to grasp. And it's okay to be patient and let them kind of come to terms with everything. I really kind of wish it didn't take this long, but I mean, I also understand that, you know, they, they had a son for 28 years and it's difficult for them to just accept that overnight. So, I mean, know that that's okay. Know that, you know, things don't have to change overnight. Um, and it's okay to kind of give people time as well. Um, on that, on that same token though, like I'm not saying don't just constantly, you know, let people disrespect you with, um, with misgendering and dead naming and stuff like that. But 
know that like this transition can take time and, th and that's fine. Um, hmm. So ultimately team, that's really all I had for tips about coming out. Um, if any of my subscribers have been through something similar and would like to, you know, kind of leave some more tips in the comments, I'd absolutely love that. For new viewers, thank you for joining us. Feel free to hit that subscribe button. And y'all, I'm still looking for more topics to talk about in the future, so drop those in the comments as well, and we'll just kind of go from there. All right, y'all, it has been great talking to you. I love y'all every single day. And I will talk to y'all soon, okay? All right, bye.